All right. So this is the last match that I get to announce on the Tesla field. So thank you, everybody, for being great. I enjoyed my day, my time with you yesterday and today. So before I leave, I wanted to have a little bit of competition and see how loud we can get on the Tesla field. So we're going to do Red Alliance, Blue Alliance. All right, we got that? Ready? Red Alliance. Where's the blue love? I don't blue hear any blue. Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance. Red Alliance. Red blue Alliance. Alliance. Red Alliance. Blue Alliance. Red Alliance. Red Alliance. Blue Alliance. I don't know who is louder. I don't know. I, can't I think tell. we need an official referee. Oh, we need an official referee. We have an official referee right here with an official steampunk hat. Who won? It was a tie. A tie! Woo! All right, let's announce the teams. Let's see who we have for match 93. First on the Red Alliance, 34-64. Also on the Red Alliance team, 2607. And last on the Red Alliance team, 4991. Over here on the Blue Alliance team, 3546. From Grand Haven, Michigan, Buck and Gear. Also on the Blue Alliance team, 2537. Out of Columbia, Maryland, Space Raiders. And rounding off this Blue Alliance team, 2851. Out of Sterling Heights, Michigan, it's Crevolution. If we started right now, it's six and a half. All right, looks like we're ready to go. Match 93, pilots ready for flight. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. It's autonomous. Everybody moving in autonomous. 15 points for each alliance. Blue Alliance gets the gear in place. First rotor spinning. That's another 60 points. The fighting Robo Vikings putting some shots up, but none going in that high boiler for red. So 75 to 15 advantage blue as we enter into teleoperator mode. Drivers have control of the robot. Here comes that first gear and first rotor spinning for red that they get 40 points instead of 60. So a second rotor now spinning for the blue alliance. Second rotor spinning for red. So the 20 point advantage you see for the blue alliance corresponds to the fact that they were able to get that first rotor spinning in autonomous. 20 extra points and that's the difference so far. Both well, Alliance is now working on that third rotor. They've got three of the four gears in place for red. One of the four in place for blue. Remember, you need one gear to get that first rotor, two gears to get the second one, four gears to get the third one, which is what they're both working on now, both alliances. And if they both get that third rotor spinning, then they're going to go for the fourth rotor, and you're going to need six gears for that one. Red Alliance has that third rotor spinning. Blue Alliance still needs two more gears to make their spin. There's gear number three, gear number four in place for blue. So the Red Alliance with three rotors spinning, the Blue Alliance with two. One gear in place out of the six for red. Here comes the end game. Now the pilot spins that third gear for blue. And they jump into the lead. They've got that 20 point lead. Two red robots hanging. All three red, blue ones trying to hang a third red robot hanging. Two of the three blue ones, all three of them hanging with seven seconds to go. 
Let's just count it down, folks. Three, two, one. All right, here comes the official score. And it is the Blue Alliance. It stands as seen officially. 20 point win, 305 to 285 for the Blue Alliance. Two ranking points for the blue teams. And that win once again due to Autonomous. Blue was able to get that rotor spinning in Autonomous, red wasn't. Tesla, thank you so much for having me, being a wonderful crowd. Turning it back over to your MC, Eric. Thank you very much. Let's give Janelle one last round of applause. We're going to be back with the next qualification match shortly. Let's meet the teams for qualification round 94. Starting with the Red Alliance, his team, 4508. Partnering with team, 4481. And the last alliance partner is team, 271. Let's meet our blue alliance, starting with team, one, nine, zero. Partnering with 3414. And rounding up the Blue Alliance's team, 11. Pilots ready to fly, drivers behind the line, and three, two, one, go. All right, here we go, match number 94 underway. All six of the robots moving in autonomous. Seventy-seven to seventy-five as we enter into teleoperator mode. Those two extra points due to Kilo Pascal's of pressure over on the blue side. Scoring in that high boiler for blue. Both alliances now have two rotors spinning. Two point lead for the blue alliance. Blue Alliance has three of the four gears in place to get that third rotor spinning. Two of four in place for red, and there's that third rotor for the Blue Alliance. Three of the four gears now in place for red to get that third rotor spinning. 
Vantage Blue now 42 points. Red gets the fourth gear up in place and they get their third rotor spinning, bringing the lead back down to two. So those autonomous shots in the, in the boiler by the fuel cells, making a difference so far for the Blue Alliance. Both alliances now working on their fourth rotor. All six gears in place for the Blue Alliance. They have four rotors spinning. Still over 40 seconds remaining. Three more gears necessary over on the red side. They may be running out of time over there. We come to the end game right now. Pilots releasing the ropes. Robots getting ready to climb with about 22 seconds left in the match. Advantage blue, they've got four rotors. One blue robot already hanging. One red robot hanging. Second one going up for red, they get it. A third one going up for red, that gets it. Not quite, and they get it. Two blue robots hanging. Three seconds now, two, one. And the Blue Alliance run out of time. Only two of their robots hanging, all three of the red ones hanging. That may have made the difference in the match. Remember, you get 40 points for each rotor, but you get 50 points for each hang. And the Red Alliance takes the match by less than 10 points. So getting that third robot hanging did win the match for the Red Alliance. Two ranking points for the red teams. By virtue of getting that fourth rotor spinning, the, red, the Blue Alliance was able to get one ranking point, though. Let's meet the teens for a qualification match, 95. Starting on the Red Alliance, team 193. From Flanders, New Jersey, it's Mort Beta. Working with Mort, 
is team 6538. Out of Ypsilanti, Michigan, Link Bots. And rounding up the Red Alliance team is team 5528. Out of Troy Revere's in Quebec, it's Ultima Carana. And in the Blue Alliance team, one, one, one. Out of Arlington Heights, Illinois, it's Wild Stang. Partnering with Wild Stang is team 5422. From Westford, Massachusetts, it's Storm Gears FRC. And running up the Blue Alliance is team 2068. From Manassas, Virginia, the Metal Jackets. Robot. Let's try this again. Team one, Dotty, three.
Can I get all the volunteers for Tesla on the field for a little bit? Come on, volunteers. Come on, volunteers. Field reset. Come on out. Center of the field. Tesla, join me in one large round of applause for our great volunteers from Tesla. We could not do this show without them. They have been doing an awesome job, and we have an amazing volunteer coordinator, Cassandra. Give her a round of applause. She's been really helping us out today. And we can't forget those crazy people in the black and white stripes. Come on out, referees. You got to get thanked, too. Come on. Come on, referees. Come on, head ref. Come on out. I think they're being shy, Tesla. Referees. Referees. Refer. Okay, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Okay. We'll do the referees again. Okay, we're going to try this again. Referees, referees, referees. Come on out, referees. Referees, referees. Come on the field. Referees, referees, referees. Refer Come on out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. Come on out. Come on, Jordan. Come on, get on the field. Come on, Michael. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now, Tesla, join me in thanking our great referee staff. We are missing. Oh, wait. There she is, our other head referee, Lori. They've been doing a great job. It is a hard job that I would not want to have. So thank you again. Bow, take a bow. Go ahead, take a bow. There we go. Thank you, Tesla. Pilots ready to fly, drivers behind the line, and three, two, one, go. All right, here we go, man. It's number five, 95 underway. Ultimate career, putting some of those fuel cells up into the red boiler. Five KPAs for the Red Alliance. Both alliances. Getting that first rotor spinning and all three robots moving. So 80 to 75 advantage red as we enter into teleoperator mode. Red Alliance and now the Blue Alliance both getting the second rotor spinning now. So that five point lead maintained by the Red Alliance. 
Now working on the third rotor. You need four gears from that. Three of the four in place for red. Now they get the fourth one going and they get it spinning. Three of four in place for blue. They're waiting on their fourth gear. So red increasing that lead to 45. Now working on the fourth rotor. Blue Alliance gets that fourth gear in place and they spin up the third rotor as well. Back to a five point lead for red. Again, due to those five KPAs scored during the autonomous period. So three out of the six. Now here's the fourth gear in place for the Red Alliance. Now five of the six in place. You need six gears to get that fourth rotor spinning. There's the sixth gear. There's that fourth rotor spinning for Red. They pop up the score by another 40 points. They hit 200. Wild Sting over on the blue side, shooting those fuel cells up into the Blue boiler, nicely done. Popping up the KPAs up to 10, 11, 12. We come into the end game of the match. About 20 seconds remaining. Robots getting in position to hang. Advantage red due to that fourth rotor spinning. Two red robots hanging. Two blue robots hanging. Third blue robot trying to hang. And they get up as well. And time expires. That third blue robot up. Third red robot still on the ground. Looks like that may be enough for the Blue Alliance if the unofficial score up on the board stands. And here comes the official scoring. And yes, it's the Blue Alliance taking the match by a score of 319 to 300. So getting that third blue robot up in the air, won the match for the Blue Alliance. Two ranking points for the red blue teams. One ranking point though goes to the red team because they were able to get four rotors spinning. Tesla, let's meet qualification match 96 team. Starting with the red alliance and green and black.
team, 4506. From St. Paul, Minnesota, it's the Pioneers. Working with team, 2783. Out of LaGrange, Kentucky, the engineers of tomorrow. And last but not least, team 66, 37. From Kearney, Michigan, Wolf Robotics. And at the Blue Alliance team, 191. From Rochester, New York, the X-Cats. Hopping with them as team. 1939. Out of Kansas City, Missouri, the Kniggets. And rounding up the Blue Alliance in purple, 32-84. From Camdenton, Missouri, 4-H Laser. Pilots ready to fly, drivers behind the line, and three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. One gear moving in autonomous over on the red side. Five kilopascals of pressure over on the blue side. 
We enter in teleoperator mode. Drivers have control of the robots. Everybody's moving. Second gear spinning now for the Red Alliance. First gear spinning, and now the second rotor spinning as well for the Blue Alliance. So 15 point advantage for the Red Alliance. Each alliance with two rotors spinning, and now working on their third rotor. Three gears in place for the Red Alliance. Two gears in place for Blue. And there's that fourth gear. Red spins up the third rotor. Increasing that lead, 155 to 100. Still early in the match, over 70 seconds remaining. We go down under a minute, three of the four gears now in place for the Blue Alliance. Over on the red side, starting to put some gears in place. One, two, three gears up there. Now the fourth one, they just need two more gears to get that fourth rotor going for, for red. Three rotors spinning over on the blue side as well. Come down to the end game. Pilots releasing the ropes. Robots getting in position to climb. That fourth rotor. All the gears in place. Spinning it up. Or trying to get it spun up by the red lines. And they get it spinning. Two, three blue robots hanging. Two seconds out, can the third, oh, the Red Alliance. The third robot just running out of time, un un unable to hang. The unofficial score makes it look like it may not have made a difference. Red still may have this match, but again, that's unofficial. We gotta wait for the official score here. Let's see who wins this match. And it is the Red Alliance. So those numbers are going to stand. That score stands, and the Red Alliance takes it 295 to 290. Getting four rotors, one it for the Red Alliance. They get three ranking points as well. Nicely done for Red.
There was a yellow card given to one of the red teams at the end of the match, 66-37, going on the field during the purple period. So they went on a little too early. So that yellow card is going to affect them through the rest of the qualifying matches. Does not change the outcome of the match score, though. Let's meet qualification round and 97. Starting with the Red Alliance. They don't ape around. It's team 4356. From Chaffee, Missouri, it's Big Furious George. Working with team 3130. Out of St. Paul, Minnesota, the Errors. Make sure it was and currently, Tesla's top seed, Team 469. From Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, Las Gorillas. Moving to the Blue Alliance, Team 4607. Out of Becker, Minnesota, the Coalition of Independent Students. Partnering with 43-42. From Kennett Square, Pennsylvania, Demon Robotics. And currently in third, 34-52. Out of Barry and Screens, Michigan, it's Green Engineers. Pilots ready to fly. Drivers behind the line. And three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. Match number 97 underway. Everybody moving in autonomous. The air is shooting some of those fuel cells up into the red boiler. One KPA score, two of them scored. Both alliances getting a rotor spinning. Red Alliance getting a second rotor spinning in teleoperator mode as the drivers now have control of the robots. Second rotor spinning for Red as well. Two point advantage goes to the Red Alliance by virtue of those two fuel cells scored during autonomous. See if that makes a difference at the end. So far, things tied up between the two alliances, except for those two KPAs. Three of the four gears in place for each of the alliances now to get that third rotor. There's your fourth gear for the third rotor on the red side. They're the first to get four, three spinning. Here comes the Blue Alliance with their fourth gear, getting the third rotor spinning as well. So advantage red by more than those two KPAs. Looks like there was a penalty that we will find out about later in the match if it changes the outcome. Some fuel cells being shot over near the blue boiler. No KPA scored yet. More being shot, now they got a couple KPAs, up to three, four. Those being put up by the Green Engineers. Green Engineers currently ranked third over on the Blue Alliance. Lost Gorillas currently ranked one in their Tesla over on the Red Alliance. We get to the end game, robots getting ready to hang. This match definitely going to have some implications for our final standings. 
Two of the three blue robots hanging. All three red ones hanging. Six seconds. Now all three blue ones hanging as well. Advantage appears to be to the Red Alliance. And it is the Red Alliance with a score of 357 to 312. 50 penalty points against the Blue Alliance and that did change the outcome of the match. So the penalties against Blue were for contacting the opponent in the retrieval zone. That did make a difference and that did win the match for the Red Alliance. Tough break for Blue. Our number one seeded team stays number one, but our number three seeded team drops down to ninth in the rankings. Let's meet the teams playing in qualification round 98. Starting with the Red Alliance team, 66, 22. From Outremont, Quebec, it's Stan Robotics. Our Quebec team is working with team 77, who? Out of LaSalle, Ontario, it's the Sabre Bites. And rounding up the Red Alliance team, 65, 82. From Vestaberg, Michigan, the Vestabots. And to our Blue Alliance, starting in the first driver's station, 20, 80, 4. Out of Manchester, Massachusetts, Robots by the Sea. Working with 19, 85. From Florissant, Missouri, the Robohawks. And hopping around team, 26-19. From Midland, Michigan, the charge.
Pilots ready to fly. Drivers behind the line in three, two, one, go. All right, here we go, Mets number 98. Everybody moving in autonomous. Although two of the robots, one on each alliance, doesn't cross that white line, so they're not gonna get that extra five points. So 70 to 70, two of the three robots on each alliance getting those five moving points. As we enter into teleoperator mode, drivers now have control of the robots. Each alliance has gotten not only the first rotor spinning, which they did in autonomous, but the second rotor spinach, which they did after teleoperator started. 110 to 110, we're all tied up here in the early going of this match. Both alliances working on the third rotor. Red Alliance hasn't gotten any of those four gears in place yet to spin that third rotor. Blue Alliance, though, has three of the four already in place. Now the fourth one, and they're gonna spin it up. So the Blue Alliance bumping up to a 40 point lead, 150 to 110. They're gonna get to work on their fourth rotor. Let's see if they get it spinning. Meanwhile, over on the red side, they've got three of the four gears in place. Some penalty points against the Blue Alliance. Looks like they went up 25 points. And now they got that third rotor spinning. So they take a lead by virtue of what appears to be some, a 25 point penalty. We'll find out about that at the end of the match if that changes the outcome. Both alliances now working on the fourth rotor. You need six gears to get that one spinning. Four of six of those gears in place for the Blue Alliance. We now go to the end game, under 30 seconds, 22 remaining in the match. Ropes have been deployed. One blue robot is hanging. Red Alliance with another gear up in place. They need one more. See if they can do it to get that fourth rotor spinning. They're running out of time though. Five seconds now, four, three, two, one. Apparently five of the six robots getting credit for hanging in this match. All three red robots, only two of the three blue ones. That one blue one looks to be just below the level that they need to be to depress the sensor on those hanging lights. So tough break for the Blue Alliance. That may make the difference in this match, we'll see. Red is gonna take it with a score of 325 to 275. So yep, that did make the difference. Both alliances getting 25 penalty points, so that didn't make the difference. It was that one blue robot that was just less than an inch too low and didn't get credit for hanging. Tough break for the Blue Alliance. So Red getting the two ranking points for the win. And we had two of our top eight seeds in that match over on the Blue Alliance. They go from six and four down to 11th and ninth in the rankings. So these matches here this afternoon all seem to be having an effect on our final ranking, our final seedings, which are gonna affect our alliance selections first thing in the morning. I know you guys are out there keeping track of it. Everybody should be putting together their list of ranked teams and who they would pick if they were lucky enough to be an alliance selection captain. Even if you don't think you're gonna be one of the alliance selection captains, you should put together a list so you can help if you get picked.
we officially have 15 more qualification matches on Tesla. So let's start. 99 with team 30, 15. From Spencerport, New York, it's Ranger Robotics. Corner with team 2, 92. Out of Rusheville, Indiana, Panther Tech. And rounding up, 51. From Pontiac, Michigan. First Hall of Famer, the Wings of Fire. Starting in the Blue Alliance team, 1391. From Westchester, Pennsylvania, the Metal Moose. They're not moosing around. We got team 1792. Out of Oak Creek, Wisconsin, the Round Table Robotics. And rounding up the Blue Alliance team, 1023. From Temperance, Michigan, it's the Bedford Express. Pilots ready to fly. Drivers behind the line. And three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. Match number 99 underway. 30-15, Ranger Robotics. Shooting balls up toward the red. Boiler, number of them going in. They got 14, 15 kilopascals of pressure. The Blue Alliance, though, taking a lead in this uh, after Autonomous. 75 to 70 in favor of the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance now gets that second rotor spinning. That bops their score up to 110. Second rotor spinning now for Blue. They take a five point lead once again. Over 100 seconds remaining in this match. Three of the four gears in place for Red. Working on their third rotor. One of the four in place for Blue. 80 seconds remain in this match. And there's your fourth gear in place for the Red Alliance. They spin up the third rotor. Red now taking a 35 point lead. Blue needs two more gears still to get that third rotor. Red Alliance with two gears in place on way to six gears to get that fourth rotor. Let's see if they can do it. They got just under a minute, 53 seconds to go. They may be able to pull it off. Another gear in place for Red. Here comes a third, fourth one and a fifth one. They need one more gear now to get that fourth rotor spinning on the red side. We enter into the end zone. Pilots releasing the ropes. Robots getting ready to hang. Red going for one more gear. One red, blue robot up in the air. One red robot up in the air. Two, three blue robots up in the air. Two red ones up. Three seconds now. Two, one. And here comes the official score. And it is the Blue Alliance by a score of 305 to 275. So that's two ranking points for the blue teams. Tough break for red. If they could have gotten one more gear, they would have gotten that fourth rotor. Or if they could have gotten that third robot hanging, either one of those would have won the match for them. They came close, but Blue able to pull it out at the end.
that's official. We hit the 100th qualification match of the day. So let's get the qualification round 100 started. In pink, starting the Red Alliance, team 2177. From Mendota Heights, Minnesota, the Rubets. Working with 5016. Out of Huntington, New York, it's Huntington Robotics. And last but not least, 3683. From Waterloo, Ontario, Team Dave. Beating our Blue Alliance, starting with Team 2386. From Burlington, Ontario, the Trojans. 6419. From West Des Moines, Iowa, it's Ice. And rounding up the Blue Alliance team, 39-54. From Emlinton, Pennsylvania, 4-H Electrotex. Pilots, who, uh, pilots, ready to fly, drivers behind the line. And three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. Qualification match number 100 out of 114. Everybody moving in autonomous. No rotors spinning yet. And it's gonna be 15 to 15 as we enter into teleoperator mode. Drivers have control of the robots. First rotor spinning for the, red, the Blue Alliance. No gears have been delivered yet over on the red side. Couple of gears more delivered over on Blue. They get that second rotor spinning. Up to an 80 point or 70 point. No, it's an 80 point lead for the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance now working on the third rotor. They got two of the four gears in place. All right, there's that gear in place now for the Red Alliance. They got one, and now a second rotor is spinning over there on the red side of the field. Closing the gap and actually tying it up, the Red Alliance. Three gears now in place for that third rotor over on the blue side. There's your first gear on the red side. Gear number four for Blue and the third rotor spinning. Blue now working on the fourth rotor. J just under a minute to go, about 53 seconds. Blue Alliance gonna try to get that fourth rotor spinning. Here comes the first gear, or the second one of six. And here comes the third one of six. So they just need three more. They were going for the Black Hawk helicopter. Look over on the blue side of the field. Let's see if they can pull it off. But we enter into the end game. Pilots releasing the ropes. Robots getting in position to climb. One blue robot up in the air. All three red robots trying to claim. One has gotten credit for climbing, two for climbing. Two blue robots climbed up there. Three blue robots. The third red one flirting with it, and they do it. Yeah. 
Let's see what the official score is. It is the Blue Alliance taking it with a score of 290 to 285. There was a five point penalty assessed against the Red Alliance and that did make the difference. We'll let you know what that five pointer was that made the difference in that match. Give us a second on that one, folks. There were implications though. The sixth ranked team was on the Red Alliance and they went down in the rankings to number 12 as a result of that match. And that five point penalty assessed against the Red Alliance was for not being in compliance with the bumper rules. A tough break for the Red Alliance in that match. Let's meet the teams for this qualification round. Starting with our number third seed, Team 148. Out of Greenville, Texas, the Robo Wranglers. Working with Team 272. From Lonsdale, Pennsylvania, Cyber Crusaders. And rounding up the Red Alliance, 59-52. From Verdon Predek, it's Roebuck. And the Blue Alliance team, 20-39. From McChesney Park, Illinois, Rockford Robotics. Working with 44-85. Out of Danville, Indiana, Tribe Tech Robotics. And last but not least, 21-68. From Groton, Connecticut, the Aluminum Falcons.
Just to be clear, we have a number three seed and a number four seed. So let's see how this match goes and see how those scores and ranks might change when I get the thumbs up. Red Alliance. What happened? All right, let's try this again. Let's see how our three and four seeds go after this. Pilots, are you ready to fly? Drivers behind the line, and three, two, one, go. All right, here we go, match number 101 underway. Our third seeded team over in the Red Alliance, a fourth seeded team in the Blue Alliance. Both alliances spewing some of those fuel cells into their respective boilers. Three KPAs for blue, 25 KPAs though for red. Red Alliance with a 140-78 early lead in this match. Two red rotors spinning. Two blue rotors now spinning as well. Both alliances, there goes the Robo Wranglers putting some more of those fuel cells up into the red boiler. 27, KPAs 28. They're gonna try to get over 40, see if they get an extra ranking point here in this match. Three of the four gears in place for the Blue Alliance. Two of the four in place for Red. Both going for that third rotor. There's gear number three and gear number four for Red. Meanwhile, the Blue Alliance had gotten their fourth gear going. So now both the Red and the Blue Alliances have three gears spinning. Advantage still to the Red Alliance. They have a lead due to the number of fuel cells they've shot in, 28 versus three. So, so the fuel cell strategy so far paying off for the Red Alliance in this match. Five of the six gears in place for the Red Alliance. Going for that fourth rotor. Let's see if they can do it. And they got it. We go into the end game. Dro Ropes have been dropped. Robots getting in position to climb up here at the end of the match. Four rotors spinning for both alliances now. Advantage, blue. All three blue robots hanging. All three red robots trying. Two, two of the three trying for red. And it looks like blue in the unofficial scoring has the advantage. Here comes the official numbers. And it is the blue alliance. They win by a score of 348 to 273. A hundred more points. We're getting three robots ready to climb. Only one of those red robots got 
credit for hanging and ready for flight. So three ranking points go to the blue teams by virtue of having those four rotors and winning the match. One ranking point going to the red teams because they also had four rotors spinning. Our number three ranked team in blue, or in red, is now went down to the fourth rank, and our number four ranked team in blue went up to number three. So they switched positions because of the match. Our third and fourth ranked teams Let's meet the teens for the 102nd qualification round on Tesla. Starting with the Red Alliance, 1706. From Wentzville, Missouri, the Ratchet Rockers. Collaborating with 714. From Newark, New Jersey, it's Panthera. And last but not least, 32-01. Out of Hamilton, Ohio, it's Ross Rambotics. And on the Blue Alliance team, 39-74. From Wincote, Pennsylvania, E equals MCD. Working with team, 33-59. From Portsmouth, Virginia, Royal Robotics. And rounding up the Blue Alliance, 3547. Out of Monroe, Michigan, it's Virus. Pilots ready to fly, drivers behind the line, and three, two, one, go. All right, here we go, match number 102 underway. All six robots moving in autonomous. 1706 grabbing all those fuel cells and shooting them up to that red boiler. Nicely done for the Red Alliance. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nope, ten fuel cells scoring in autonomous for the Red Alliance. So they take a ten point lead. We enter into teleoperator mode, drivers have control of the robots. Ten point lead for the Red Alliance by virtue of them getting those ten extra fuel cells into the high boiler during autonomous. Meanwhile, they've got a second rotor spinning, and they shot a few more cells into the red boiler. So 19-point lead now for the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance working on the third rotor. They've got three of the four gears in place. Red Alliance also working on that third rotor. They've got three of the four gears in place. Plenty of time remaining, just under 70 seconds. 
Blue Alliance gets that fourth gear up and in place. Under a minute to go now. 49 seconds remaining in the match. Advantage red. Blue Alliance spinning that third rotor and getting it moving. Now going to work on the fourth rotor. Ratchet Robotics shooting more of those fuel cells over to the red high boiler, putting a number of them in. Up to 31, 32, 33 KPAs. But we're now at the end game, under 25 seconds remaining in the match. Time running out. One blue robot trying to hang, they are up. One red robot up, they have credit for hanging. Two blue robots up, a third one trying. Three seconds now, two, one. And they do get it done just at the end, that blue robot. One red one ready for flight, but th all three blue robots ready for flight at the end of the match. All right, here comes the official score for match 102. It's gonna be the Red Alliance. They take it with a score of 311 to 199. Two ranking points go to the blue teams. They had an extra rotor and they did have extra robots hanging as well. Let's meet the teens for 103rd qualification round of Tesla. Starting with those scary looking rabbits, team 19, 39. From Kansas City, Missouri, the Knigets. Working with the Knigets, this team, 65, 82. Out of Vestaburg, Michigan, the Vestabots. Hopping with them is team 95. At a White River Junction, Vermont, the Grasshoppers. And on the Blue Alliance team, 31-30. From St. Paul, Minnesota, the Errors. Working with team 4508. From Schulerville, New York, the Steel Stallions. And rounding up the Blue Alliance, 54-22. From Westford, Massachusetts, 
Storm Gears FRC. Pilots ready to fly, drivers. So our head referee, or he was the substitute head referee, said he has a really nice talent that he can stack a lot of fuel on top of each other. So let's see how many he can do. One. Two. Three-ish. I jinxed it. He called a friend.
That was my fault. We're sticking to three and try it again. One. All right, we're good. Red, oh, I got the red card. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Clearly, Arkansas Eric does not have good balancing skills. Pilots ready to fly, drivers behind the line, and three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right, here we go, Mets number 103. It's autonomous. Over on the blue side, Storm Gears shooting some fuel cells up to the blue boiler. Not getting any KPAs out of that. Nice effort anyway. We enter into teleoperator mode. Drivers have control of the robots. 75 to 55, advantage blue. That is by virtue of getting that rotor spinning, that first rotor spinning during the autonomous period. They got those 20 extra bonus points. So well over 100 seconds remaining in the match. 20 point advantage blue. Both alliances working on their third rotor. Three of the four gears in place for blue. Red Alliance has all four of them in place. They get it spinning. So they bop up their score. Blue gets that rotor spinning as well. It goes up by 20, by 40. So Blue maintaining that 20 point lead due to the extra points they got in Autonomous. Team 95 looks like their battery has come loose. They're gonna be disabled in this match. That's a danger, so they're disabled. Tough break for the Red Alliance. About a minute remaining in this match. 20 point advantage still for the Red Alliance now that we have three rotors spinning on each side. So the Red Alliance now has three of the six gears in place for that fourth rotor. About 40 seconds remaining. Blue Alliance with all six gears now, and they get the fourth rotor spinning. So four rotors spinning over on the blue side. They jump into the lead. They've got a 60-point lead here in the end game. About 20-some-odd seconds left in this match. The ropes have been deployed. Robots climbing. We've got one blue one up. Two red ones trying to climb. Another blue robot trying. Seven seconds remaining in the match. Two red robots up in the air. Two blue robots trying. One has credit for hanging and time expires. We've got the official score coming up. And it is going to be the Blue Alliance taking the match. The score of 300 to 235. So they did get credit for a second robot ready for flight hanging. The reason they got credit for an extra robot hanging is they were touched while trying to hang, so they got that 50 points. So the, red, the Blue Alliance with three ranking points, 
two because they won the match, one because they got four rotors spinning. So nicely done for the Blue Alliance.